So, we are on the run from the Klingon Empire, our own Starfleet and the other associated members of the Kitama Alliance, until we can find proof that it was not us that attacked the Kitama Conference. Whether or not those members of the Alliance believe us is a moot point, as they would still have to detain us either way, and it would be our word against the Chancellor of the Klingon Empires. Not a great position to place the Federation in, especially when they're trying to improve relations. For this reason, we have travelled to Shan Tu on Nimbus 3, with the House Mokai officer Adet Pa to recruit a team from the Cold Star, an independent mercenary group who, more importantly, possess a gifted cyber specialist. Our plan is to travel to the Gorath system, where there resides the sensor logs and bridge recordings of Chimpok's flagship that will show that he is the one who fired the mycelial weapon. Of course, things didn't go quite as smoothly as we'd hoped. That looks a lot like a T-Rex, a T-Rex with cybernetic enhancements that is firing lasers. So now we are fleeing Nimbus 3 before the ruckus draws more attention. Once in orbit, we rendezvous with the Rotaran and Martok, while Adet Pa returns to the IKS core, now the acting captain after Kagren's reassignment to the Kitama. Joining us is the medium-sized Orion cruiser the Cold Star, complete with its decorative markings. After our scuffle with the Ferengi Madron, Martok hails us to remind us of the urgency of our departure. If the Ferengi hasn't told Jempok and Imperial Security where we are by now, I'll eat cold, dead gah. We need to get moving. All good? As ready as possible under the circumstances. Nimbus 3 has become considerably more inhospitable, and it wasn't terribly pleasant to begin with. Eh, hey, that's debatable, Captain Var. The crew of the Cold Star stands ready. Some of us a little more than others. I hear you're being paid well. What can I say? This caper's gonna be a real peach. Hell, I'd have signed up just for the bragging rights. Well, that said, the latinum we're getting for this is gonna spend mighty nicely. Think I might spend the entire summer on Risa. Y'all seen those cute little statues they got there? Whew! A girl can get into all sorts of mischief with one of those. You mean the Horgon statues? You know those are for... Oh, mischief. Right. <clears throat> Should we go? We arrive in Gorath to find a pitched battle already underway. The Lucara is engaging the enemy ahead. I see no need for Jaula to claim all the glory for herself. Prepare for battle! Kabla! Okay, red alert, I guess we're going in. Fire to disable where possible, please. So, the Gorath system is the same system we visited as part of the Klingon introduction missions, and formerly belonged to House Torg until its dissolution in 2409. The planet was then transferred to KDF control after they were gone, and it's now used as a security hub and training facility. It is a barely habitable world, thanks to breathable but toxic atmospheres, but the initial value was found in those rare compounds that formed in that tear. We sweep into battle alongside our fleet and join the Lucara. Like it or not, Ja'ula is a necessity for our continued cooperation, as it's likely her finance is paying the Cold Star crew. Defeating the Klingon Guard over Gorath was a quick affair. It must be this civil war that's emerged that's spreading their forces thin. We must act quickly. I was able to jam transmissions from the Loyalist vessels, but one of the cowards managed to escape the battle. It will not be long before he returns with reinforcements. Very well. I've assembled an infiltration team to protect our hacker, and we're ready to go, provided there are no other complications. Good. Meet me at the following coordinates within the facility. Hold up. You're beaming down too? I wasn't aware of this. I am not a leader who hides behind their allies like Jim Puck. If the key to his defeat lies in that stronghold, I will be there to seize it. Do I make myself clear? Oh, as a dilithium crystal. A cracked, spent, Starfleet murdering dilithium crystal. If you two Targs are done growling at each other, we have work to do on Gorath. Adipa, remain in orbit on Overwatch. With luck, we'll get what we need before the entire Empire comes to end us. Fine. Martok's angry at me. 
Working alongside Jula for a Federation background character has really got a sting, after all. She is from an era where the Klingons and Starfleet were open war, and if you're a Discovery era character in particular, then she's directly responsible for killing your first captain. Nevertheless, she has the expertise, connections and know-how to exonerate you, so you're kind of forced to work with her. This place used to be a stronghold for House Torg. I recognise the lingering stench of cowardice and dishonour. Well, it's a Klingon security facility now, so expect armed resistance. We should only get worse the longer we spend down here. We can mock our enemies later, General. Until then, we have work to do. Okay, let's move. Quietly. Yeah, about that. I took a little peek at the data flow around here, and I've located a prime access point. It's not far. I should be able to get what we need there. Understood. We'll mark it as Data Core Alpha. Our goal is to get Wilkins here to that core so she can extract the footage we need. So far, our beam-in seems undetected, or we'd be swamped by now. I'm guessing either House Mokai continues to run interference on their systems, or Wilkins here is already at work. Of course, our secrecy is only going to last as long as it takes for us to get spotted, which is going to be inevitable in a hall like this. We take out this one group, which includes the Targ Handler, and hope that they cannot get a communication signal out before we've dealt with them. Our hacker, meanwhile, is opening the way forwards. Door was locked tight. <laughs> I handled it. Excellent. The place is clearly on lockdown, probably from the skirmish at orbit, but at least they seem to be having difficulty in tracking us. The next chamber sees a repeat of what occurred in the previous, with a locked door at the other end. Another blast door unlocked. You're welcome. We step through into a large hall, one clearly for carousing and meetings. The two go hand in hand in Klingon culture. There's our console, back there in the corner. I see it. Still goes slow. It could be an ambush ahead. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, folks. Stand back and watch this magic happen. Oh, and if you don't mind, please keep any uninvited guests from putting a disruptor blast in my back while I work. I'd be much obliged. What you mean to say is the minute you start hacking, we're going to be facing waves of Klingons. Well, let's keep them off of them. Sure enough, Klingon guardsmen begin to beam in while we wait for Bilkins to finish. I'm going to put it down to her data intrusion, giving them our location. I think they're learning just how dangerous we are. Ah! Why, General, I do believe you are correct. They've stopped beaming in altogether. Okay. Good news, bad news time. Which one you want first? Bad news. Always end it on a high. Yeah. Bad news is they broke it up, stored it in several systems here. This here's the first system. I need to crack the next one to get to the rest of the goods. Okay. And the good news? Well, the good news is I extracted some of the data you were looking for. It's encrypted, but I can crack that later. Okay, so we have another goal to hit. Ready to move on, boss? Okay, on to data core beta. Wait, you're American. Uh, beta. Console's behind that big door, at the end of the hall. The one over there? Ah, convenient. So, what's in the other one? Hmm, hmm, yes, yes boxes. Alright, fine, we'll go to the door you pointed out. Ah, another cargo room, although this one has a console in it. Can you get what you need from that? Here we go again, folks. You know the drill. Keep me safe, get your data. I like the keep me safe part more myself. And I like the getting the data part, so let's just agree this needs to go smoothly. Uh, this one is a little slower to complete, as in the tighter space, Wilkins is interrupted a lot more. Putting on intelligence must have lowered their standard to let these fools join their ranks. Oh, you squirrely son of a bitch. Problem? Yes, definite problem. Some sneaky bastards in the system with me. They shunted the last bit of data before I could grab it. Oh, this is taking a lot longer than I'd hoped. That sounds like more bad news. It ain't all bad. I managed to lock the network down before they could get it out or delete it. It's stuck in another system, though. If we hurry, we can get to it before whoever's blocking me does. Okay, data point gamma it is. Give us a marker and we'll get you there. On the way, we fight our way through a few more patrols and Wilkins cracks a few more doors. 
Like that locked door was gonna stop me. Huh. The final room we enter into is the main hall of House Torg. Funny, the open sky design reminds me of Kitama. Jempok wants them alive. Deny them an honourable death. Ah, would you look at that? They beamed in to stop us. I guess they finally figured out what we're after. Okay, well, before we do this, gentlemen, can I just let you all know that you're all being deceived? You see, my companion- Ow! Fine. I think our last console's behind that door on the right-hand side. Spotting the door, she's on about easy enough. It's the only one illuminated green. Gonna need an extra set of hands here. Our mysterious friend might try to stop me. And I need one of you to run interference for me in the upper security system while I get the data. You know what? Cyber warfare is part of tactical training. I'm not a great hacker, but I can mess things up pretty well. Ah, this looks important. Oops, delete it. Hey, look at that. Um, run as administrator. Yes, so now delete. Oh, that can go. You don't need program files. Actually, what's that folder of security recordings? Select all. Copy that to another networked computer. Ha! <laughs> Estimated time to complete six days and eight hours. Hmm, processor is running at 80%. Let's see if we can run a defrag while we're at it. Oops, I froze it. Do you have it? Did you extract the final evidence? Oh, right, that's what we were here for. We got it all right, but the other side knows we did too. You ask me, it's time to get out of here while the getting's good. We can't beam out of here. Room's heavily shielded. Might have better luck in the room just outside, though. The room's heavily shielded? You could have told me that before we walked in. You know what? It's fine. After all, we're almost out of here. And so your treason, your dishonor grows! <laughs> I suppose I should thank you. The evidence you've collected will help me keep Jumpak in line. After I take it from your corpses, of course. <laughs> what? Do you like my pet? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it has half your looks and twice your brains. Ah! At least I have both my eyes, old man. Training togs for battle has been a family specialty for centuries. According to legend, my ancestors could fire lightning from their eyes. With this power, they tamed the first wild targs. Primitive, superstitious nonsense. Ah, but in battle, such nonsense can be most effective. As you are about to learn. Makhri! You dishonor your house and your people! I will drag you to the deepest pit in Grethel and leave you to rot! You will do little more than fill the belly of my beast, Matriarch. You will never live to see the day where I am the Chancellor, the dawn of my empire! Kill them. Make sure the beast is well fed before you return. We will not meet again. Die well. <laughs> So, a car has plans to manipulate Jumpok and impose himself as Emperor. Now his betrayal of Jula makes sense. And he also has a lightning pig. Alongside the Thunder Targ, we have another of Jula's sons of none, Beth Puklod, wielding an energized staff weapon. Fighting alongside these are the Klingon loyalists who must have overheard a car's plans and are still allied with him, so I guess they are conspirators all. So now is probably a good time to mention that Akar here is an ancestor of Gaura, as you can see in the eyes, meaning that he must have left at least one child back in 2256 before he was swept to the current era to continue his lineage. Soon the shocking swine is swept aside, leaving only the star-fielding Klingon formerly sworn to Jula. Come, I will give you a good death. A warrior's death! But, with the odds stacked against him, eventually he falls too. We have the evidence of Jim Park's crimes, but it still needs to be revealed to each and every cleaner. 
So how do you intend to do that? I presume you have a more expedient method than hand out some flyers. And we're not exactly going to be able to make it back to, I don't know, Kronos or Earth to distribute this. Once I am back on the Lucara, I will breach security on one of the commsats in orbit over Gorath. After that, I will transmit the evidence of Jempak's crimes throughout the Empire. I thought it would be something like that, but that will take time. I think I can quicken that up considerably. I've seen enough of their code to crack one of their commsats like an egg. Well, the lady says she has this, and from what I've seen... Well, does this work for you, Jula? That is acceptable. Your assistance will be appreciated, Wilkins. And well rewarded. Enough talk. The means to end Jimpok's reign is in our grasp. It is time we put it to use. Kapla! So, the plan is to reveal Jimpok is the merciless, paranoid and ruthless man he is. He threw his own people away in order to grant himself a reprieve from the pressures he's come under from the other Klingon houses. But Ja'ula too has seen her share of violence aimed at the Kitimer Alliance itself, and while she has apparently a hard line she will not cross, I think she's fooling herself if she thinks anyone will flock to her defence, even with the revelations to come. We return to the Armager and our allies in orbit, and position ourselves near one of the comm satellites. Presumably, these handle transmissions from all over the Klingon fleet, with the intelligence of every ship being filtered through here and then down to Gorath. Lucara is in position! We are about to begin the process! Okay, let's do this quickly. And by we, she means me. Hi! First time I've ever been on a Klingon ship, and it's nice and all, but I could do without all the red lights. Makes me nervous. That is actually a good point. On most human ships, the only time you see red lights is during red alert. But chill, you've got this. After what we just went through, huh, this will be a walk in the park. But seriously, keep the Lucara in one piece and everything will work out just fine. Keep the Lucara in one piece. You're expecting company. Check your long-range sensors. A fleet of Klingon vessels is approaching at high warp. I doubt they are coming for blood wine and gah. I mean, we could ask. This pathetic crusade of yours ends here and now, fool. Ha! Ah, Jumpbox here. Saves me the trouble of hunting him down. If Jimbox here, he must be real desperate. The Lucara is taking enemy A Jimpok! For the Empire! Kabla! In this battle, not only do the Klingons arrive to assist Jimpok, but the vassal states of the Empire too, such as the Gorn. The Lucara is taking enemy fire! <laughs> and the Orions arrive too, however, this time they are on Jaula's side. The Lucara is taking enemy fire! The Lucara is taking enemy fire! Things are getting increasingly hectic up here. It seems that Jimbok's panicked response to bring a huge fleet to Gorath has brought every other element of the Klingon civil war here too. I speak now to all within the Klingon Empire. Bear witness to the treason of Jimpok, the true mastermind behind the attack at Kittimer. Fire the weapon. That is Jimpok's vessel. He fired the weapon. This dishonor must be avenged. Bah! Nothing but more Mokai lies. Neither Jimpok nor Chaula is fit to lead. I will not follow either of them into battle. The Empire has lost its way. Helm, set a course for home. Our house must secure its own path forward. Alone. They... They are leaving. They abandon us. Cowards! Traitors all! The Great Houses have lost their honor! It does not matter. The Empire has no need of a High Council. All it needs is an Emperor. It was all in vain. 
The battle was won, but the alliance of the great houses, my brother's greatest work, is lost. The battle is over, yet the victory we have earned is bereft of glory. This has taken a toll on Lady Jaula. I believe she has suffered a crisis of faith. We must leave this place before Emperor Jumpok sends more of his rabid targs to attack. Well, I think we just witnessed the fracturing of the Klingon Defence Force. Jula herself was in no position to lead. Klingons look to her and see only the dissenter, even if they oppose Jumpok. And the Chancellor himself has seen the gradual erosion of his once plentiful support, and now only those few remain by his side. The rest of the Great Houses have decided to withdraw and support themselves, breaking apart the unified Klingon Defence Force that had been in existence since 2258. The Houses have been unified with representatives on the High Council for over 155 years, and thus prospered greatly. It's ironic that Ju'ula sought to restore an empire that she felt had fallen into weakness to something more familiar to her time, a time when the Federation and Empire were at war. And she did, just not in the form she expected. This sundered state better resembles the age immediately prior to their 23rd century reformation, a time when every house was its own sovereign power. Her brother, Tkuvma, was remembered as a warmonger, but that's not really a stigma to Klingons really, but more than that, as the catalyst for the formation of the KDF, and now, years later, she has shattered it. But what choice did she have? She was only one player in all of this, the other being Jumbok, whose crimes cannot be excused either. As the appointed head of the official Klingon government, however, how is this going to look for the future of the Alliance, now that his crimes are out in the open? Right now, I can't tell whether this civil war has ended or just begun. A few hours after we leave the system, Adet Park rolls in with some unfortunate news. But it is news to be expected. Jim Bok, in his first act as Emperor, has dismissed the High Council. The alliance of the Great Houses, forged by Tukuvma, has been shattered. Those who have not sworn fealty to Jimpok have split to pursue their own agendas. Only a scant few still stand with House Mokai. Lady Jaula believes she must follow in her brother's footsteps and seek the wisdom of the monks on Borin. Only there she will discover what must be done to restore the Empire and defeat Jumpok. Now that our names have been cleared, we can move openly again within the Empire. I will contact you when the time comes to travel to Boren. Ah, and with Kalis killed during the Iconian War, the seat of Emperor was indeed open. An uncertain future awaits for the Klingon, and I hope to see you there as we continue to explore the ever-growing narrative of Star Trek Online. I've been Rick, thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.